breaking news from KXAN News. That breaking news happening overnight in southeast Austin. The Travis County EMS saying a person is dead after a car hit a person on Riverside Drive. This is near Lakeshore Boulevard east of I-35. You can see there is still some traffic that is being blocked from the road um, and there is still a very much active scene when it comes to the crash that happened around 2.30 this morning. Traffic is being diverted onto Lakeshore from the West and Shore District from the East. There's not a lot of cars on the roads. There are lanes blocked though. No word on if anyone else was involved or if the driver stayed at the scene, but we're asking those follow-up questions for you this morning as we continue to look at um, the latest one person dead as their car crash hits them in downtown Austin or southeast Austin, I should say. To your headlines on this Friday, a Dallas jury deliberates the guilt or innocence of a doctor accused of poisoning IV bags. Reynaldo Ortiz faces 10 counts of tampering with the consumer product and, the, uh, and, the, and giving out of drugs. Later today, the 90th honor flight takes off from Austin's airport. 46 Cold War and Vietnam War era veterans are planning to visit memorials in Washington, D.C. that honor their service. They are then returning tomorrow evening. Motorcyclists speeding more than 200 miles per hour, heading over to the Circuit of the Americas. MotoGP is back in town starting today. Big race is happening on Sunday, and our very own Dylan McKim is going to be live at Coda with details coming up right here on KXAN News Today on this Friday after the eclipse. After the hailstorm, we had that international motorcycle race. If there's not enough excitement for you this weekend. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Sally Hernandez. And I'm Tom Miller. A lot of focus on the weekend now, sure. especially after all we've been through. Meteorologist Kristen Curry's here. Not to be overshadowed by Kite Fest. That's right. <laughs> Sunday That's right. as well, right? Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And the whole first morning weather team will be out there. So we look forward to seeing you. Let's begin with what's going on for your Friday morning. That Here's a live look outside from our Barron's Creek Vineyards camera in Fredericksburg. We We've got clear skies out there and not seeing anything in the way of cloud cover. Nothing in the way of rain. You can leave all that rain here at home. In fact, we're not going to see it at all today. Temperatures in the 40s and 50s. 51 in Rockdale, 56 Austin. A little cooler out there in Dripping Springs at 48. Finding more of those 40s and 50s out in the hill country. The temperature difference is kind of a split here. A little warmer out west, a little cooler in the east. Everybody, I'm thinking, is going to add at least one to three degrees to those afternoon highs this, uh, for the later part of today. So is it noticeable? Probably not, but it still means we're going to have a nice day. If you loved yesterday, I think you're going to love today as well. With sunshine, just a few high passing clouds around midday. Some more cloud cover on the way for the later part of the afternoon. Coming up, the highly anticipated weekend forecast. I've got that for you. Plus, we are getting warmer, borderline hot, getting into the back end of the seven day. But there's a storm system between now and next week that we need to talk about details on the impacts in your first morning forecast. And with MotoGP in town, you could expect more crowds at the airport again today. Tens of thousands of people flying out each day this week. About 38,000 yesterday, 35,000 expected to fly out today. Stays busy. Couple this with broken baggage handling systems. And on Wednesday, we saw some big lines at AUS out the door into the street. You see that they're frustrating for those flyers. Looking at this, AUS says it fixed the baggage handling system after about 20 minutes, but a new outbound baggage handling system will not be done until sometime this summer. It's going to process 4,000 bags per hour, so your bag will likely make your flight, and your flight will likely take off on time. Conditions improved at the airport yesterday. Still, some passengers didn't expect what they saw when they got there. You know, I'm actually having to rebook my flight right now, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, we're still kind of cutting it pretty close, so hopefully we'll make it, yeah. What about Saturday? A U AUS says that it is hard to tell how that's going to look, so make sure that you get there early. And Sally, that new baggage system is not the only major upgrade that's currently in the works at Austin Bergstrom. The Westgate expansion broke ground last summer. It's going to add more than 84,000 square feet with new gates. The plans to open sometime in 2026, along with more security lines. There is an even grander plan to add an entire new concourse, Concourse B. It'll be connected to the existing concourse through an underground tunnel. That is still a ways off, though. Concourse B going to have a minimum of 10 gates with room to expand up to 20. 
The TSA says it intercepted over 1,500 firearms at airport security checkpoints in the first three months of this year. So far, that's an average of nearly 17 guns a day. The TSA says 93% of the weapons were loaded. In a statement, the TSA administrator said traveling with the firearm is allowed and it must be packed properly as checked bag and declared to the airline at the ticket center. Also this morning, Austin police say they arrested a 13-year-old for the murder of 21-year-old Francisco Miranda. In January, police responded to the shooting at the Avalon Palms apartment complex. That's on Northgate Boulevard in North Austin. And when they arrived, they found Miranda with a gunshot wound. First responders took him to a hospital where he later died. Police making that arrest months later. This juvenile was found to be in possession of multiple extended capacity pistol magazines that were linked to the murder weapon. Myself and the gang detective were also able to determine that, just, that this juvenile was involved in several other shootings, including a drive-by that occurred on December 20th, 2023. Going in depth on this, according to Austin police, some data shows that officers named 162 juveniles as suspects in gun-related crimes between 2020 and 2022. These crimes consisting of murders, assaults, and robberies. In 2020, 40 minors were suspected in gun-related crimes. The next year, that number jumped up to 48, and it went even soaring from there in 2022 up to 78. Zooming in on murder cases involving guns. Police arresting 12 juvenile suspects between 2020 and 2022. Police data shows that officers identified six minor suspects in gun-related murders in 2021, with that number falling to four in 2022. We want you to know there are programs around town meant to help children and keep them out of a situation like that one. One of those being the Boys and Girls Club of Austin. Their CEO says having a safe and supportive space doesn't just change the child. We know that if they are with us, right, that they are safe, um, that there's less um, pull on them for of those type of risky behaviors. And so that's a positive outcome for us. We know that that can change the face of an entire community. Currently, the Boys and Girls Club says they are ramping up preparations for their summer program. When can they expect some relief? So as early as this summer. You know how summer is in Central Texas. What is Austin ISD doing? What they said last year about how they're going to keep your kids comfortable in class. Our investigative team follows up to get a progress report. Plus a look at proposed changes at the state capitol that could weaken one party for years to come. Name an animal, the wife doesn't mind her husband calling her. Hey, hey, fellas, don't do that. It ain't no cute way. Big ass. Oh. Five days a week, you'll be saying, what the few? Piggy, piggy, piggy. You're just my little piggly. There's no way to fix that. Watch Family Feud of CW Austin. I'm Jim Spencer with Iman, an adoptable dog at the Austin Animal Center, here to share a fur cast tip with you. Spring is here, and so are fleas and ticks. Use preventive treatments and stay away from tall grass. Iman and more dogs are available for adoption now. Furcast is brought to you by City Limit Subaru, where pets are always welcome. I don't want to just sell you one car. I want to sell you and your family cars for life. Homeowners, doors sticking, drywall cracking, sloping floors, all signs you may have a foundation issue. Only Quality Foundation Repair offers permanently installed adjustable piers. Not a temporary fix, but a real long-term solution. Call Quality Foundation for your free evaluation. Tune into this month's Everyday Hero Special, Sunday, April 14th at 10.30 a.m. as we celebrate those in our community who rise to a calling. Join us as we recognize their journey and the impact they make on our lives. Everyday Heroes, brought to you by Randall's and these great products. 
When you fly Austin, you don't have to wait to get to your final destination for your adventure to start. Get to the airport early to taste your favorite local restaurants, shop local stores, and listen to Austin-based musicians live on stage. You'll find it all easily with our digital wayfinding map, which is accessible on your phone. And remember, we recommend passengers arrive at least two and a half hours before departure on all domestic flights and three hours before international flights. Listen to music, eat and fly at Austin Airport. KXAN recognizes the hard work and heart local businesses pour into making our Central Texas region thrive. So keep supporting Central Texas best businesses like these. KXAN salutes Texas Custom Turf, a Central Texas best partner. When you need new flooring, Landers Premier Flooring is the name you can trust. So the installation happened in record time. We're so glad we chose Landers. Come talk with the experts at Landers Premier Flooring, Austin's official flooring headquarters. Get more from your dealership partner here at Capital Chevrolet. There's a reason we're the number one Chevrolet dealership in the city of Austin. We have exactly what you're looking for. Get a great deal today at Capital Chevrolet, the heart of Austin. KXAN News is brought to you by Ashley. Shop Ashley for beautiful, stylish, and affordable home furnishings. Ashley, this is home. There is a battle off the court over who gets to play what in Steiner Ranch. Two groups are fighting over the possible introduction of pickleball courts into the neighborhood. This started with a petition from some residents con to convert one of the tennis courts at the Bella Mar Community Center into pickleball courts. Then a counter petition started asking to keep the tennis courts intact. Comes as pickleball surges in popularity around the country, close to 12,000 pickleball locations around America. KXAN asking the Steiner Ranch HOA regarding the competing petitions. Uh, we haven't heard back, but we'll let you know when we do. He is a Super Bowl champion, and now he is out on bond. The charges Rasheed Rice is facing. And why the federal government's top food watchdog wants help from Congress. Patience is a hard thing to find among college athletes these days, but the Longhorns have with a couple of running backs, and it's paying off. I've got more on that coming up. Title Max got your money, your real money. <laughs> Get started at TitleMax.com and turn your title into real money. I got $2,500 with TitleMax.com. Most credit types accepted. I got $8,700. From TitleMax.com. All makes and models welcome. Visit TitleMax.com today to find out how much you can get and get your title back with TitleMax. I got my title back with TitleMax. Get your title back with TitleMax. The Honda you want is here. So drive in the moment with the versatile CRV or Accord. Both named a Car and Driver 10 Best. When you drive a Honda, you're driving with the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. The dramatic rising cost of living has caused many people to abandon their pets. Those pets often end up in shelters that euthanize them after just a few days. But we're better than that, my friends. I'm John O'Hurley, and I invite you to support Puppy Food Bank with a $15 a month donation. With your support, Puppy Food Bank can ship pet food to rescue shelters, pet food that will save pet lives. So won't you join me? Donate now, and Puppy Food Bank will send you a very nice gift. Boy mowers aren't built for everyone. They're built for the bold, the originals, people who get the job done and love every second of it. Bad boys are built for horsepower, cutting edge precision with the first of its kind three link suspension and a style all their own. Because you're not everyone. That's a good thing. Bad boy, mow with an attitude. If you're on Medicare or soon to be on Medicare, I know it can be daunting. Your mailbox is full of dinner seminars and invitations to Medicare events. What do you pick? Medicare A, B, D, a supplemental, Medicare Advantage, 
you know, these decisions are critically important with your success in retirement. I want you to get your hands on our Medicare 101 report at no cost. Email me right now, retire at reapfinancial.com. My team will have it on its way to your inbox. Picking a lawyer after a car wreck is an important decision. You can pick the guy who stands on top of red cars and things. Or the guy that carries a hammer. Or you can pick the lawyer who's a U.S. Army veteran. Board certified in personal injury trial law with over 25 years experience and 200 trials. You're smart. You'll make the right decision. Call DJC Law. 512-888-9999. And get your justice. Teamjustice.com. I don't want to just sell you one car. I want to sell you and your family cars for life. Welcome back. Some of the most conservative politicians in Texas want big changes to the way that state government is currently working. Yeah, they're signing the contract with Texas, and that would remove Democratic lawmakers from running legislative committees and place term limits on the House Speaker. The contract follows as conservative dissatisfaction with current Speaker Dade Phelan. They claim the Republican failed to pass their priorities during the last session. The procedural changes could have big policy impacts and limit Democrats ability to influence the process. Texans are fundamentally annoyed, frustrated, uh, disappointed with the obstruction, the dysfunction within the Texas House. At least one other Republican is challenging Phelan for that speakership in 2025. And Phelan may not come back to the House at all. He faces a runoff May 28th. Texas state senators will take up nearly five dozen issues ahead of the 2025 session, by the way, as Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick issued interim charges, so things he wants them to take up first. Border security, top issue, including the effect Operation Lone Star has had on personnel. Energy infrastructure, also a big one with topics including the design of the electricity market transmission needs and even managing the grid in relation to the state's population growth. Lieutenant Governor also wants reports on how artificial intelligence will affect Texans. And he's asking senators to examine the sale of hemp products such as Delta 8 and Delta 9 and look at regulations on the sale of these products. Full list of the charges right now on our website, kxan.com. If you live in Austin, you're dreaming up the next big thing. You can get thousands of dollars in grant money to turn your vision into reality. Austin's Economic Development Department announcing a new round of funding through the Nexus Grant. This is to support local, small organizations, individual artists, and small arts businesses. Program's going to offer $5,000 grants. They're going to cover expenses like administrative costs, equipment, space rentals, and marketing. Applications for the Nexus Grant are opening next Tuesday, April 16th. Very cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice to see the help, help where it's needed. Yeah, get those creative juices flowing. There's money <laughs> on the line, right? Free money at that. Happy Friday. Happy oh, Friday, nice. especially to you. It's been I a know. week, hasn't it? Like, like, Tell us how you made it. I, yeah, yeah. I, I'm happy to say it is Friday, but we made it, and so did you. Thanks for being with us on Cake Second News today. Let's see, start with what's going on this afternoon, and then we'll just kind of jump into what's going on for the weekend because we've got some really nice weather on top uh, for the next few days, and darn it, we deserve it, right? It's been kind of a rough week. We started with some really rocky weather. And now we're starting to get the much deserved break. Here's a live look outside from the Circuit of the Americas there in Southeast Austin, just in time for everything going on this weekend. We get some nice weather. As we told you earlier, we've got the MotoGP race happening uh, at Coda that starts today, continues this weekend. No big weather concerns at all. It is not going to rain. It's not going to storm. It's just going to be a little more humid as we transition into the weekend. Right now, 56 degrees. Our humidity at the moment is 77%. Winds calm. Winds are going to be more out of the south southeast today at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Got to set 83 today for perspective averages 80. So pretty much right where we should be for this time in April. You're going to notice a few more high clouds in our skies today. Nothing that'll drop anything on us. High temperatures will be in the low to mid 80s no matter where you are. So nice, comfortable afternoon, just a little bit warmer than yesterday. Or I would say probably about the same, not a notable jump or notable drop by any stretch within one to two degrees of where we were on Thursday. Skywise, we look great. Like I said, just a few high clouds for the middle part of the day. Increasing clouds later on tonight after sunset. We'll continue to see those clouds kind of hang around overnight. And then there'll be more of them in our skies on Saturday, but dry 
conditions. No need to worry about the rain gear Saturday nor Sunday. Your weekend weather looks fantastic at that. 84 tomorrow, 84 on Sunday. Mix of sun and clouds both days and even a little bit of wind on Sunday, which oftentimes we kind of poo poo wind, but we want it on Sunday. Why? We got the ABC Cod Festival happening at Zilker Park, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. You've got your whole first warning weather team out there. We look forward to meeting you. Uh, bring your own kite. Rumor has it we're going to be giving out some, so come early, come say hello. Temperature wise, tank tops, t shirts, friends, upper 70s to start. We finish in the 80s. It is not going to be cold. It is not going to be wet. Not yet, at least. There's some baby rain chances coming in Monday, Tuesday. The next storm system doesn't look great. I think it's going to be too far north to be looking at widespread rain for us. So just a couple spot showers here and there, late Monday into Tuesday, and then maybe a better looking storm for us at the end of next. Next week, so just outside the seven day forecast, we'll start to bring up uh, those rain chances on Thursday. So, seven day forecast here's what I've got for you low 80s today and tomorrow, mostly to partly cloudy skies. Your overnight lows are actually getting milder. So, yes, it is a little cool out there this morning, but this is going to be it for the cooler weather. We've got milder temperatures taking us all the way into next week. Yes, that does say 91 as we get into next Wednesday. It does get a little hot here as we transition into next week behind that cold front. That cold front, I think, is what's going to be responsible for the rain chances that we've got Tuesday morning. But again, highlighting the fact that no day looks like a washout over the next six to seven days. It's just going to be some spotty showers, isolated storms early Tuesday. We'll do it again on Thursday. High temperatures staying in the 80s, if not 90s. Overnight lows, 50s and 60s for the next six to seven nights. Thank you, Chris. You see it's heating up there. And as that happens, tips start to pour in from Austin ISD parents, teachers, even some students about issues with the air conditioning at school. It's a, to a story we told you about after a year, but a multi-billion dollar bond package passed in 2022 offered some hope for some more long-term fixes. KXCN investigator Avery Travis digs into where those projects stand. We met Tony Ockett outside on a beautiful spring day, but she knows it's about to get hot in Austin. And just a few months ago. I mean, it was in the teens when they went back to school sometimes, and there's no heat in the building. It's not the first time her daughter reported heat and air conditioning issues at Bowie High School. The nail in the coffin was my daughter texted me from school in the middle of class. She's like, I can't feel my feet. My feet are so cold, I cannot feel them. And she sent me pictures. Her feet were blue, which not all kids obviously have that issue, but she does. And she's just like, I can't sit here and do my work anymore. Her daughter has a medical condition affecting her circulation that's triggered by the cold. She says the school has since made accommodations for her student. What about the other kids in the class? Austin ISD records show Bowie tops the list for the number of HVAC related work orders logged for the third year in a row. That's how long KXAN investigators have tracked tips about hot and cold classrooms and other maintenance issues. For kids on those campuses, when can they expect some relief? So as early as this summer. In 2023, the district's director of construction management said projects funded by the 2022 bond were underway. But in an interview this year, Michael Mann explained a lot of the work so far may go unseen on campus. For example, procuring vendors and contractors. That's taken up a, a lot of our time. Now, 17 projects involving HVAC work are in the design phase at Bowie, Lhasa, and 15 elementary or middle schools. Each project has a different timeline. Some are expected by August 2025. But Mann says from that point, others could take 18 months to two years to complete. Do you think that AISD and the folks working on these bond projects are moving quickly enough? We always want to move faster. It's never fast enough for the folks that are living through these day to day, right? We also found a few schools with some of the most HVAC work orders we're not on that list of 17 schools with ongoing work under the 2022 bond. AISD explained some of those campuses do have work. It's just wrapping up from the 2017 bond, and these two will actually have more work later on from the 2022 bond. 
Other campuses have HVAC projects that are being funded through some different sources, such as Murkison Middle School, where they're using maintenance and operation funds, or these two schools, Lee and Covington, where they're using what are called interest earned funds from past bonds. This is basically when, for a short time before some of the projects begin, AISD will invest the money. They're then able to use the interest earned to fund additional projects. Avery Travis, KXAN Investigates. Avery mentioned there that a lot of the work so far has been unseen, but we also asked when families will start to see actual work on campus. The district saying most of this type of work has to wait until the summer, but schools with other projects are scheduled for construction to start this year. Months after pouches of applesauce made in Ecuador were recalled for high levels of lead, the leader of the Food and Drug Administration telling Congress to take action. The FDA chief said Congress should make food manufacturers test for lead in products imported to the United States. He said his agency doesn't have enough resources to test all the products, so it has to rely on the food manufacturers to do their own testing. This is KXAN Sports, brought to you by Thomas J. Henry. Longhorns will wrap up spring practice a week from tomorrow with the annual spring game. And, you know, patience isn't a big thing in college football anymore with the transfer portal. But the Horns have had some good patience in the backfield. Last year, Jonathan Brooks waiting his turn behind B. John Robinson, Roshan Johnson. And then it was Jaden Blue. Didn't play much early, played a lot late. He was very productive and now looks to take that next step and looks to his patience from the guys ahead of him. I think having B. Row, Keelan, and JB in front of me helped me a lot. And if I use JB as an example, you know, his first two years, he didn't really play much. And, you know, he played last year. He was probably the best running back in the country, and it changed his whole life. So I think the thing for me seeing that is just, you know, staying patient. And whenever is my time that I was going to show up. I knew that, you know, it was always a plan for me. So I think it was never really hard knowing that it was guys in front of me that I could learn from. Still, it does say a lot with the transfer portal. So easy to jump in there and see if you can find greener pastures and blue is stuck with it. He and C.J. Baxter figured to be a great one-two punch again for the Longhorns. Baseball tonight, UT at Houston to open up a series. And the Texas softball team, number one in the nation, they open a series in Waco against Baylor. Back to you. Thanks, Roger. Super Bowl champion Rashi Rice is out on bond this morning. Last night, Rice turned himself in to Dallas police, or I should say police in the Dallas suburb of Glen Heights. Officers then booked him in jail. On Wednesday, Dallas police issued an arrest warrant for Rice in connection with a March 30th high-speed crash. That warrant accused Rice of aggravated assault, collision involving serious bodily injury, and six counts of collision. For those listening on the KXAN Today podcast, thanks for joining us. Here's what we're tracking at 5 on KXAN Today. MotoGP rolling into the circuit of the Americas. We're going to have a live report from out here coming up. What do weather forecasters mean when we say there's a chance of rain? When rain moves over the area, forecasters will say how much of that land might get rained on. So a 20% chance of rain means 20% of the land might get a storm. Changing weather conditions and temperature can affect your tires, air pressure, and performance. Always ensure your tires are properly inflated for safety and longevity. From all of us here at Toyota of Cedar Park, drive smart and stay safe. At CC's Pizza, dreams come true. But the best part is you, and you, and you. Me? Keep up, John. Any pizza, any way. Find it here on my buffet. So come to the band and pull up a chair. CC's the best pizza value anywhere. I bought the team! Kevin? I bought the team! I put it on my Chase Freedom Unlimited card. And I'm a cash back on a few other things, too. Started with the sound system. Curry from deep. That's cash! I prefer the old intro. This is much better! I don't think so. Steph, one more thing. The team owner gets five minutes a game. Cash bros? Woo! I like it. I'll break it to Clay. Cash back like a pro with Chase Freedom Unlimited. How do you cash back? Chase, make more of what's yours. Life can be hard. <coughs> With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. 
Get more from your dealership partner here at Capital Chevrolet. There's a reason we're the number one Chevrolet dealership in the city of Austin. We have exactly what you're looking for. Get a great deal today at Capital Chevrolet, the heart of Austin. Go! Go right now to the Rooms to Go storewide mattress sale. Do not miss this very special offer. Buy the Sealy Posturepedic, Therapeutic, or Beauty Rest Select mattress in your choice of sizes for just $5.95. That's three great brands, any size, one low price. Twin, full, queen, even a king size mattress, only $5.95. Plus, check out all our other great mattress buys at the Rooms to Go storewide mattress sale going on now. The left-leaning media totally outraged by so many of the former president's recent words and actions, while the right-leaning media downplaying it all. There's nothing to see. Those of us not in the partisan media business, I think, need to be trying to call balls and strikes. Here's the reality that no other cable news network can say. You can count on us to try to call out what's important and what's not. Another reason why News Nation is news for all America. One simple way to stay away from tobacco is don't start so you don't have to stop. Smoking is the most preventable cause of death in the U.S. For more tips, visit kxan.com slash simplehealth.